So the product we're going to look at now is the Q mod. This is the Q mod. It's got the same geometry as the MLVD um, and also the major mod, but it's a shorter, uh, shorter disruptor. Um, what we're going to look at as a target is this large IED, which is completely contained within this 55 gallon oil drum. We're going to seal that in. So that's the ID completely sealed in into this container. What we're going to do now is attack the top there where we're assessing the time power unit to be. Um, the placement that we're going to go for then is to fire and form the projectile. So we, at the moment we're going for this, this kind of standoff there. We're aiming for this area here. And what we should do is get complete disruption, take the lid off and, and um, separate the power and the time unit from the main charge of the device. Firing! So I think we've had a great result there with the Q mod. So coming back in now, you can see um, that the, the water projectiles penetrated there. It was probably a little bit um, low, so it's hit the edge of this wooden board that contained the CPU. So it's gone underneath and above, um, but it has um, completely disrupted the time power unit. Part of the disruption, it has broken one of the connections there as well. So we've got complete component separation and this would just be a dismantle job because we've got um, a smash power source and a detonator within the container it might be something you wanted to do either remotely or semi-remotely thank you